Hello everyone, it's Dave here from Save Decks. So we've now got information on the final uh, Fighters Pass DLC character for Smash, and it is a character from Fire Emblem, and he has blue hair, which is a totally original idea for Smash. Seriously, when they first showed the gameplay footage of him, it, I thought it was Mar 4 Chrome, like it looked just like him. But um, we'll get past that. So basically I'm uploading this the day after the reveal, not on the day. Because Sophie and I have moved house recently. We've had no internet. I had to go to my parents' house to upload our discussion on who the Smash character could be. So apologies for this being a day late. I had to drive to a Costa Coffee, buy myself a hot chocolate and use their Wi-Fi to watch the presentation. So that was all fun. Um, so my initial thoughts are I was disappointed that it's not a third party character. Again, we keep saying there's rules as to who this characters could be. Has to be a third party because the others were. Has to be a franchise not yet represented because the others were. So it's a first party character in a franchise a lot of people are saying is overrepresented. I mean, this is the eighth Fire Emblem character and like four of them now have blue hair. So they don't really look too much different. They don't really play too much different. Well, four of them have the same move set. This one, at least, has a different move set. It actually is very unique. So there's that. Yeah, it doesn't just have a sword. It's a he and a she as well, like Corin. And so you got a bow, which you can't fire until it's charged up, but it can get really powerful and shoot out fast. But generally, the character is very slow. Uh, he pointed that out, called him a distance demon. So, although I'm not too excited about the character himself, him and herself, they do look like they play very well. I'm actually excited to try out the move sets because it does look like a fun character. But what we'll get to is the stage. The stage itself is from Fire Emblem Three Houses. The stage looks amazing, I think. You've got four areas. It's a traveling stage. You start off in the market. Then you go to like this hall inside the, you, the school, then you've got a bridge, then you've got the cathedral. There's destructible environments, you can crash the market stall, you can drop chandeliers and all that. That looks like a lot of fun. And yeah, I like travelling stages and this just looks like a fun one. About the presentation itself, it was kind of weird that Sakurai felt the need to explain to us what Fire Emblem is as if Fire Emblem hadn't been in Smash before. I can understand him explaining all about Neo Geo games in the last one because, you know, that's not been represented in Smash before. But I don't think we needed an explanation about Fire Emblem. He then, that pose he did with the three fingers in the thumbnail, that was explained in the fact that he was counting the number of Fire Emblem games that existed in binary. Then he felt the need to explain to us what binary is and how to count in binary. Stuff like that, I was thinking that's a bit of a waste of time really. Do we really need to be hearing this? But it's all part of Sakurai's humour, like he likes to add little things like that. So overall, not too keen on the character. Not that I'm not looking forward to him, it's just out of this fighter's past, the five characters, I've only been excited for one of them and that was Banjo. And obviously not every character is going to please everyone. So overall, if I saw this lineup from the beginning of these five characters, I would have been hesitant about buying the Fighters Pass. I only bought it once Banjo was announced. So, and it's not really the strongest character to end a Fighters Pass on. But they obviously couldn't release this character sooner because Fire Emblem Three Houses only came out last summer. They needed time to get to everyone to know the characters and the story of that game as well but we've also got more DLC coming there's going to be six more characters and the you can pre-purchase the fighters pass the second one on that day as well they haven't put a price from what I can see I can imagine it should be cheaper since it looks like it's just characters we're getting no music and no stages which also makes me think they're going to be characters from franchises already in Smash, like a Mario character, a Zelda character, and so forth. And I'm thinking it might 
not be like half the price because we are getting six characters instead of five this time. I also noticed that the finish date this time is December 2021, which is nearly two years away. So it looks like we're getting three characters a year now. So four months in between each one. So that's kind of spaced out, isn't it? So the next character will come in May by the looks of it. So we can look forward to that. So we're going to be making more videos predicting who's going to be in this new one. We did one on third party characters already on our channel. The next one we're going to do is characters from Nintendo's franchises and then we're going to do one of new Echo Fighters that might be added even though I doubt Echo Fighters will get added because it's it's just fighters isn't it. And then we're going to do one on assist trophies that could be updated so make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss them. Um, we've also got extra videos coming up, we've got a top 10 multiplayer games on the Switch, we're going to upload next week so look forward to that. And on the final note, the Mii Fighter costumes were pretty good this time, we've got Altair from Assassin's Creed, and we've also got Cuphead, which I'm looking forward to, I haven't bought any of the Mii Fighters yet because I was hoping they'd do a bundle on them, but there's currently only three that I'd like to buy individually. Um, being Cuphead, Sans and Goman as well so I'll probably pick them up at some point but anyway thank you for listening to my thoughts we'll be doing more discussions on Smash Brothers in the future predicting the fighters past characters to come and other goodies what else they could add and so thank you very much for listening again let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this character uh, again I mean are you disappointed I've been reading comments on other websites and a lot of people aren't happy with this character again yeah I'm disappointed with the character but gameplay wise he looks awesome so and the stage I'm really happy with so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye everyone